Seeds of Change and ICANN approached me on a collaborative idea. Um, basically, we wanted to raise awareness of sustainability and environmental issues um, in an artistic way. Um, we Basically, they asked me uh, if I could come up with any ideas, and I suggested making a tree that we could hang pledges upon, um, where people could make environmental pledges, and perhaps that tree would travel around the country so as many people as possible could join in the campaign. Most of my work involves using recycled materials. Um, I'm aware of it's about lateral thinking and being aware of all the different kinds of materials in the world as a sculptor and um, I'm particularly interested in the work of African children when, they don't, when children don't have access to manufactured toys in parts of Africa they use all kinds of waste materials to make the most amazing um, sculptures and toys and I was very inspired by that at an early age to make my own sculptures. It's been amazing because previously I've only ever exhibited in galleries as most artists do but um, this is actually taking the art to the people and that's just amazing because you just have a, such a huge audience and you can gauge their reaction, it's not just an art audience. So, and there's been a, a, an amazing amount of pledges, the branches are just kind of dripping with people's pledges. I think having a tree made from rubber tyres is, is a pretty amazing thing in itself, but to put it in an unexpected environment, to find it in your local park, in your super, local supermarket, on Victoria train station, I think that elicits kind of a, a, a very surprised reaction. And um, people have just been quite in awe of it, I think, and it's drawn people towards it. So, yes. Yes, absolutely, because people, I mean, people are looking at your work, they're looking at the materials you're using, it's kind of, it's, it's broadening their horizons and making them think about using materials in a new way. And especially for children, um, looking at art that's made from recycled materials, it's, it's, I mean, pencils and crayons and paper, that's not the only option, there's lots of different materials you can use to make art, and many, many of which are recycled materials. We've been so enthused by this project and hopefully um, we'll be working on more, more projects in the future, although we've got nothing actually planned. Um, but what we are planning on doing is auctioning the tree on eBay with iCount. All the proceeds are going to iCount and uh, I think we're going to wait and see how that goes first before we move on with the next project.